Welcome to part 3. In part 1, we identified some of the codes which even the functional teams need to understand. In part 2, we got comfortable with the debugging screen. And now in part 3, we will see the actual power of the debugging tool. In part 2, we talked a little bit about the local and global variables. Now we will look them into in details. Let's check it out. If you go to the debugger screen, uh, you will see this tab, that is the first variable tab where you have this local and you also can see the globals so the globals have a green icon that means it is available to each and every part of the program it is available in the subroutine it is available in in the normal program it is available in all the events so this is available globally whereas this is local local means this will be available only in that particular subroutine say this is in form message data so this local lwa mara or lwa field final this two which is declared in this subroutine will be available only within this subroutine once the program moves out of this subroutine this local variables are no longer available to the main program let's check it in our sap system i go to t code se38 and then i give my program name and hit the display by now you should know how to put a or set a breakpoint. So what I'll do is I'll put a breakpoint at line number 95. Okay. So it is the session breakpoint was set. Now I'll execute the program. I'll not give any input. I just want to run it blank. Now my debugger stops at the screen. So if you see here, this is local and this is global. So I do not have any local. So I'll just close this for more space. <coughs> so you see a local. I have nothing in local because uh, I am not in a perform or a routine okay but global you can see what are the global data MARC is global IT MRC global IT final is global even the selection screen S matnav global S split is global OBJ1 is global OBJ1 is this guy okay so if I want to see what is the structure of this IT MARC I just double click on it and then it shows that it has a field called matnav a planned then PS state, this PR and profit center. So these are the fields. I hit back button and I come back to the main screen again. If I want to see what is in the final table, the structure, I double click on it. It has a legacy material number, SAP material number, plant and another three fields. All right. So this is how you see the global. Now I'll do F5. Why? Because I want to enter into this uh, method. So I do F5. Uh, even in this method we do not have any local variable because nothing is declared so therefore you will have it blank okay me is a uh, SAP generated variable so which is available but uh, we have not declared it anything local so now I do F7 so I come out of the screen so I don't want to execute uh, line number 70 71 72 and 74 I I want SAP to do it automatically so that for that I can use this return tab okay or F7 so I'll hit return and I am out so I do F6 I don't want to see what how plant is selected so what I, I want to go here so what I have to do F6 if I do F5 it will go inside it I don't want to go inside I want SAP to execute it and come to this step so I do F6 now I want to go inside this subroutine so I do F5 so I go inside now look here look at this so there are two local variables declared in this um, perform so therefore those locals are available so you see here uh, three so where is the third one third one is here so this is a new concept in sap abap where the data can be declared in line that means read table it mrc into data lwmrc this sentence or this syntax behaves like this one okay so therefore two were declared here and one were declared one was declared uh, in line therefore you see three local variables so if you double click on it lwmrc you will see the structure all right so now if i click on the global your global still has those itmrc it final so now if i say i click f6 i click f6 now i go here and i want to stop here okay i put another debugger i double i clicked on here and i say execute and so so that the debugger will stop at that spot so now it executed everything and it stopped here all right now if you want to see the data 
you can just type in here it underscore say i want to see what is there in this it final what you can do i can either type it it final or i can just double click on the val variable okay the same thing so let me delete this and i'll show you how i can double click i am i put my cursor here and i am down to double click it look here it says it has two entries so what are the values in the entries click on this or double click on this i'll say double click on this here you go you have these two entries now if i click on row one it can sh show you just the value of one row all right and if i go back and if i want to see row two i see the value of row two all right now so this is the look global variables this is local variables now if i come out just keep a note of these three fields okay if i come out of the subroutines this local variable will vanish so now i do f5 it i reach to the main program mc the local variables have disappeared so that's that's the difference the local is available only in the subroutine and global is available everywhere all right